Okay, almost toy room. We're gonna unbox from NECA. Here comes the Elder, the Golden Angel Ultimate Edition Predator. And it's coming up next. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Moe's Toy Room. Come from My Room Tours. And today we're going to take a look at NECA's Elder the Golden Angel Ultimate Edition Predator. Here he is right here, right before us. Very nice box art. Super nice. Let's get the thing rolling. This is for ages 17 and up. Choking hazards. Uh, see small parts. Not for children under 3 years old. Uh, you can see that right there. Alright, so this got some beautiful cover art. All these predators have been coming like this. Super nice. So let's turn this to the side. You can see more here. Uh, more of that comic book uh, type art. Um, and then right here on the back, you got some beautiful layouts of landscapes and dioramas and everything to help pull this predator uh, off. So yeah, it looks like it brings three interchangeable heads. Uh, alternate hands, trophy necklace, smart disc, shoulder cannon, sword, uh, sheath, and pistol. All right. So there you go. And then you can see the side right there. Let's crack this baby open. All right. So there is a beautiful picture right there of this Golden Angel Predator um, in action figure form with the right diorama. That's how you can make him look. Here is... The Predator kicking back behind his window pane, locked in his plastic prison, as he has finally made it here to Moe's Toy Room. This beauty retails for about $36.99, between $34 and $36.99, depending on where you get it. Uh, I've been looking for this in the wild. I could have got it uh, a little ways back, um, but I wanted to find this particular one in the wild and i've been doing it lately with my predators we all know who's been following my uh if you've been following my toy hunts and i enjoy finding predators in the wild because that's you know pretty much where you find them is in the wild and in jungles and everything else but anyway um yes definitely waited and it paid off because i found this beauty at target and target had a few of them so they are at stores now depending on what target you go to all right folks so let's get this beauty out of the package and see what he can do all right folks first off i want to say that i am i think i am starting to come under the weather so if you hear me uh do a little cough or whatever please excuse that uh but i really wanted to get this review out due to the fact that i have been holding on to this predator predator now for about two weeks and i want to get it out but anyway he is standing at about from bottom of foot to very top of horn right there on this golden angel mask. Um, he's about around eight and a quarter inches. So, yeah, he's pretty big. Um, 21 centimeters. And this predator, I mean, is nice. But it gets even nicer because take a look at this. Yes really good these predators you just can't go wrong look at the paint on that the piercing eyes it even has a piercing right here look at that let me see if you could see that from the side right there i don't know if you could see it from the side let me see if i can dim this thing down a little bit maybe you could see it a little bit better now you see that piercing? Yeah, right there. Yeah, that that is creative. And then when you look amongst that, the teeth in there. Wow. And then the piercing eyes. And what's cool about NECA, you want to know where the money goes? Yeah, each one of these dreads is separate. It's not one piece. Obviously, he's going to be on a ball joint to remount these heads. Not only does he bring that one. He brings this really cool looking one. I believe this could be like a standard uh, predator head that he would have. Um, the mask looks like it does stay on, so it doesn't seem like it comes off. It's glued on. And the dreads are the same. Okay, same guy. So just a different mask. Look how piercing that looks. Just cool. Really cool. 
And so this Predator tends to bring some reuse parts, which I mean the smart disc painted a little bit different. So yeah, I believe the hand that he has on right there is perfect for these. So yeah, you, this that, that would be the hand that he would use to hold this. We're going to take a look at that. Also, um, he also brings a pistol. Really cool. Like this. I like the way the little trigger looks on there. Um, they gave it a cool wash. It's nice. It even has a hole in the front. So, very nice piece. And then the handle. Um, this Predator also brings two alternate hands. So, let me see if I can get them both in there. You can see that. These hands, a lot of them, especially this one, I remember is reuse. And some of them are reuse. Um, but they will repaint them and you just can't tell. So... Um, but yeah, really nice. I mean, when you got something good, hey, just repaint it. For all I know, these may be new sculpts, and here I am butchering it, right? But yeah, the hinges work on them, so. And you're going to need to remember that, because in order to take this hand off with these blades, you're going to want to bring that hand down, and then you're going to want to pull it out, for that way you don't mess with the blades. All right. And then he brings his... Plasma Cannon Blast right here. This will mount on his shoulder towards the back area. Uh, it should be like that on this particular Predator. Um, some of them have it already on them, and some of them have this. So they did a good job on this, and this will move around. This is reused, too, also, because I have some Predators that have that. Um, but be careful because you, you don't want to break all this. Don't force nothing. Uh, but yeah, super nice piece. And then we also have, it says he has a sheath, but that's because he has a cool sword and it came in two pieces, folks. So when you look in the front there, you have a hole and you just want to line it up. And then just grab it and stick it in there. And there you have it. And now he has a cool looking sword. I'm going to handle on that. That is nice. I've never, I don't know if I've seen one of these like this. He might be the only one that has this. If not, hey, leave it in the comments. Let me know. Knowing me, I probably already reviewed one that already had it. Um, there's so many of these predators. But it's about this man right here. The Predator will this alien um, beast. He has all his trophies around his neck that he carries. He tends to have some small like tubular parts that are on him that could break. Be careful with this guy. I am urging you guys um, because this guy's super nice and you don't want to ruin him. Um, and then with his blades, what I meant by his blades is you want to bring that hand down like that because these guys come out you see what i'm saying and but the problem is is not only are they very sharp and pokey but they are very brittle and fragile as well so these will break on this predator before anything else um if you drop them on a hard floor or whatever you know a lot of people that have broken them know how fast they can break i know we've broken some here on some earlier predators until we could figure out how to get them out but yeah he has that and they will go back in but and then you can move his hand back in place um but as far as this right here i am wondering if this opens and i don't think that it oh it does oh look at that that would be the one where he will dial up set those bombs going um, get his navigation, everything he needs to do. Um, yeah, this piece is nice. This Man, these Predators, you just can't go wrong. All right. So you can see here, this is a soft molded plastic on him. So is this. 
so is his little side piece right here his little side protector all this well this is a hard molded and this is soft molded on the shoulder and when you lift that shoulder you're going to want to lift this up and you'll see me do it uh, to lift the arm and it's still not going to go up all the way 90 but we're going to check that out but this is off also a soft molded uh, plastic and if you're wondering the nails very sharp all these predators have them the feet are always really sharp um yeah so just be careful now let's give this guy a turn okay so now that we are giving him a turn this guy not only has sharp toenails but he has sharp pokers right here in the back some sharp nails so he is armed and dangerous okay so this right here, his apron, very soft molded plastic, um, almost feels like vinyl, to be honest. And his sheath right here will be the one. And the way that they got it is like that. So I'm guessing that you could put one blade in there if you wanted to. Don't know how I would get that out. Or just stick the whole thing in there at once. But I don't see how that would work if it's closed on the bottom so you want to pull this out and then you would want to shove that guy in there like that and then there is an area in the front in the very front right there where you would shove this piece in but it doesn't seem to be going in too well so that's about as good as i'm gonna get it and you do not want that thing to get lost in there anyway. So, yeah, he would look like that. Okay. So, let's give this guy a quick turn. You can see that. All right. So, let's see right here. This predator, how far can his head move down? Looks down pretty damn good. They look okay. He looks up okay due to the fact that he has all this in the way right here. Definitely they hit that Michael Meyer side to side. This is a really cool sculpt. I love this mask. Definitely going to be displayed with that one. Even though the standard head sculpt looks amazing. Definitely I like that mask a whole lot more. So, And then he will move all the way around. You could tell that all his trophies move right along with them. Here's what I was talking about. You want to lift this and then you want to bring his shoulder up. And that's about as far as I'm going to get. But he has that really nice bicep swivel. You can see it right there. So it moves very well. But don't move it too much because you see how it pulls on that. So you want to be careful with that one. This arm, obviously, this arm is also very, very stiff. So, yeah, be careful with that. I had to turn it like that just to get it to go like 90 and then down but you can go all the way around with these guys um and be careful with that one right there i almost did a boo-boo <laughs> all right yeah almost a boo-boo folks so we have is these single joints no it has double jointed elbows okay but right here be careful so i'm gonna leave that like that it lo almost looks like a single because they have it covered here and that was smart because it only allows that arm to go like that. Super well, well thought of. Okay, so now you got this one. Now you got that double on there. And you can see that extender piece right up in there on his right arm versus the left. Now on these arms, he should... Is there any movement on these? No. So, yeah, there you go. Okay, so on his... Uh, arm gauntlets right there right this one will move around really good okay but it's connected to this on the other hand yeah there you go this one also does it so you can see that super nice rotation right there and we know that the hands obviously can move pardon my fingers okay i am doing the best that i can my son is under weather, so he is not able to help me. I know some of you want to see me review these on, standing behind them. But yeah, but that's what we got 
for that. And then we all know that his blades come out. All right. Woo. So right here below the chest, it looks like one solid piece, right? But it definitely is not. The paintwork is just done tremendous. Look at how that paintwork looks. The webbing, the greens, the yellows, the golds, everything's just popping out on this. Um, yeah. And then the back, you could definitely see the reptile type stuff in them. Um, it's really cool. I like the way that this is done. And then you can see the hinge work right there. But that's a little odd how it just goes from here and then all of a sudden it goes black right in here. So I don't know if maybe he would be wearing like a black cover uh, because you could see that there's something under here that looks completely different than that. So I'm thinking that he has some kind of like runner sock or something that, that keeps these legs maybe warm or whatever or uh, keeps this in place. So I don't know. He might just put all that on at once. All right, so let me not jaw flap too much. Right here, he has some movement. So you can see that. He's on that big old joint in there. So he can move there. And here's the cool part, folks. He also has rotation. Will swivel at the waist. Really nice. All this, look at that, can go on and off. Very loose, like I said, molded plastic. All right. So, now we're down to his legs. Hips don't lie. This guy got really good hip movement. Got the Elvis Presley hip movement. Um, no rotation, though, on the hips. Double jointed knees um, on this guy. So, let me do like this. I got to watch it because with these predators, sometimes if you pull too hard, if they're not worked in yet, uh, you could pop that joint right off. And, yeah, this one's a little bit more stiff. There you go. Yeah, he's actually working pretty good. These last couple Predators I've had have been amazing. I just reviewed the Ultimate Warrior Predator. He's a newer Predator. And um, he's a little bit newer than this one. But he was the same way. Just amazing. Stands on his own. Doesn't need to stand. Everything is just right on these guys. So let's see. Let me hold this and see if there is any kind of swivel or rotation on that gauntlet gear no there is not but there is on the feet feet are really nice you can get them to go down up and he should have some tilt rocker okay there you go amongst his inner toes right there too so this guy could probably give you a claw hold with his foot right in the face all right all right folks so let's Take a look at him with the smart disc and see how he looks. All right, folks, so I kind of cheated my way a little in there, but this hand tends to hold that one a little bit better versus this one. But the fingers will go through on either because they're spread out like this. So that would be these would be the hands that you would use versus this one that is the grabbing hand and this one that is just the thumbs up. So, um, but yeah, this one would be definitely just for decoration. But as far as usage, it's going to be those hands. And that's how he looks with those smart discs. And you can also, with these smart discs, um, you could hold on to them right here in his side pouch. But you got to really work at it to get it in. And once they get in there, you could pop them in. And that's how it looks right there. Yeah, and that one, that one went in fairly well. Just very nice so that's how he would look there with that all right folks so here's how he looks with sword in hand you can see that um fits perfectly so what i did was i just put the sword just in the hand and then put it in there popped in place really good this guy's gonna stand up on his own um regardless whether he has a stand or not he this is a very well oiled uh, and very well made action figure um, collector item whatever you want to call this uh, but yeah I'm going to say um, collector action figure this thing is very well made for the price alright folks so here's how he looks with the other alternate head uh, yeah this thing is just nice nice piece 
you can't go wrong with this. If you are a Predator fan and do not own this and you see it in the store, don't pass on it. Uh, if, you know, I know that it's, you know, troubling times right now and action figures and toys are, have gotten very expensive amongst food and cost of living and everything else that goes along with it. But if you are a collector and if you have the funds to uh, grab yourself one of these, um, definitely and add it to your collection. Uh, you can never go wrong really to go uh, if to invest in these predators. And we all know with predators from the past, like Big Red and a few others, um, they go up in price just like the Mortal Kombat figures do. And you know, amongst some Star Wars figures and horror movie figures, uh, and so on, but yeah, they don't lose value on these and these ones only collect value. So yeah, if you're one like me that just enjoys the way that the sculpts look, definitely invest in one of these. Very nice piece. Here's how he looks with the thumbs up finger. Uh, I kind of extended his blades to kind of make it look like he just pushed them out there, you know, like, ugh, right? And then I also put the pistol in the left hand of him right there. So yeah, that would be the one that he would use. And I'm sure that you can mess with it and get one of these fingers to actually go in there. Because you can move these fingers around. But yeah, that's up to you. Uh, I don't want to put as much wear on this Predator as, uh, you know, on fingers or anything else but i mean it's not strictly up to you as to what you want to do with your predator if you have one of these or if you're planning on getting one also if you're wondering how to get some of these uh warrior beads off of him they do come off and you can get them off you're gonna have to take the head off and then you have that joint exposed right there and you could get them off uh you see that there that's how you would do that all right, folks, let's get his head on. All right, so here he is with alternate head. Look at how good that looks. I even placed one of his smart discs in the side again. This guy just looks like he just has the muscle, right? You extend these out. Wow. Oh, man, look how good that looks. Oh, I, I, I can't say it enough. This, yeah, this Golden Angel Elder is just really nice. All right, folks, so just to let you know, you're going to have to tilt his head a little to the side. This whole piece is going to bring a little bumper on the bottom of it. And there is a hole in his shoulder right there in his shoulder pad. And it's going to take some time. But once it mounts in, once you get it right, um, it's not going to go anywhere. But that's how that looks there. And you can maneuver all this around and everything else. You see it is like that. But... Yeah, it's, a, it's still a little iffy, but I mean, if you're just going to display it and you want to display him with that, that's about what you're going to get out of it, folks. Uh, so, yeah, he does look pretty intimidating. I mean, I got to say, but that's how it's going to look. And I believe that it might even have, I think I might have to go here and then mount it. There you go. Yeah. So you're going to have to put that little mount from the back there clip it and then it'll clip in right there at the top and yeah now your predator is just ready just to whip some butt bring bring on arnold bring on danny glover hell bring on john clav van dam the rock you know bring them all on this guy's ready to go right here bring brock lester i mean this predator's waiting for you guys so all in all the Golden Angel Elder Predator has delivered. Great job, NECA. Um, yeah, this figure is super nice. And what I forgot to mention was they also bring a small backdrop. Kind of diorama. You can do what you would like with it. But it is also enclosed behind all the plastic. And that's how he could look right there. Uh, with that behind him, uh, for some of you love doing dioramas and can do something with that. Hey, that's just an extra thing that NECA threw in for you. Uh, but yeah, this Predator definitely delivered on all parts. Uh, everything worked good. Super nice piece. Like it. And he just found himself a new home. For sure. 
So all in all, this is how the golden angel will look in his brand new home. There is uh, one of the newer reviews that I did of the ultimate uh, warrior predator. Uh, yeah, he kind of glows a little bit with the lighting this in here and he shimmers a lot too. But yeah, he looks perfect amongst his brothers, some of his brothers here. So everything just works out. This ain't all of our predators. A lot of them are put away. But um, yeah, we're going to display him for a little while, see how he does. As you could tell, a few of them don't even need stands. But yeah, he looks good. Yeah, can't go wrong.